ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch, where today we're taking a look at Moritz Kiergaard, uh, an attacking midfielder who's very versatile going forward and looks very, very promising. Another production from the RB Salzburg kind of academy group. So we know that they produce some great, great players and certainly ones to keep an eye on. Uh, before we get started, though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more great players like this and of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see and i can take a look for you but with this um Kier guard has got an injury for three to four months at the start of the game a torn hamstring so hopefully that won't hinder him too much going forward um physicals look very nice well-rounded mentals a little bit to improve but he's only 18 so plenty of time for that as well as his technicals looking quite nice with the likes of dribbling free kick taking heading as well um so an attacking midfielder or a center midfielder that could do bits for sure. Um, we can see he joined from Lingby uh, to Salzburg where he's played one game but has obviously been in their second team lifing um, for a while now. But we shall see how he gets on. Let's take a look at his attributes. So how, what is his potential? What is his current ability? He's currently at 110 uh, but could rise to 145. So could be a very, very good player in the football manager world. So let's jump ahead and take a look how he gets on. And here we are then. So we can see here already very interesting kind of things have occurred. He's kind of changed nationality to Austrian um, following a previously being Danish. Um, we can see his 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 his, his, his attributes haven't really changed too much. Um, still can play almost anywhere going forward, which is good. He's still very versatile in that front. Twenty seven years old, but let's take a look at his history straight away and see what's kind of gone on. So it looks like um, from his move to Austria, he's obviously taken up citizenship there. Uh, uh, maybe looking to get into the Austrian national team because he wasn't didn't feel like he could get into the Danish one. Um, hasn't really played for Salzburg themselves. Um, I think maybe a couple of appearances there, but that's it. Before a move to Wolfberger uh, for 350,000. He played a lot more there. And then again, a move to LASK um, for 1.7 million, um, their first team, where he has played a lot more and looks like he has improved a lot as well, getting uh, contributing to 10 goals uh, and six goals in the kind of last two seasons that he's been involved. So there is some improvement, but a little bit disappointing. Austrian FA Cup runners up, um, won the Austrian First Division Championship with Leifering. Um, but otherwise, very, very limited. Um, and personal was, again, best 11s. But that is about it. So a little disappointing, really, with his career and how that's gone, especially as as I'm sure you may be aware, um, in our Mourinho Challenge save, we've, we've used him before um, and we've taken him to a couple of clubs with us and he's been very, very good and very influential. So interesting that um, in this save, he just didn't quite make it. So let's take a look at his attributes though and how he got there. So 116 current ability. I think he's only got up by like six ability points, um, whereas the potential is 145. So very disappointing, really, um, him staying in Austria. He obviously wasn't given the opportunity at Salzburg um, that would have maybe promoted him to the world and obviously got his attributes up a bit more. But there you go. Not much else to say about that. Um, a little disappointing, but there you go. We will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes, and I will catch you in the next one.